Okay, equilibrium is actually the name of this chapter, wasn't it? So we've been doing some torques. Yesterday you had a, isn't it? Okay, no, be honest. Was that fun? No. <laughs> Lab? No. I said be honest. Was it fun? No. No, be honest now. Was that, wasn't that fun? No. I know you're going to say no. He's looking for it. Everybody else is yeah, saying no. Yeah, we did it fun. I think it was fun. Go back to where you're supposed to. <laughs> you were waiting for it. Yes, that's fun. Well, I liked it. You didn't even do anything. <clears throat> but that's the point. It's called supervision, right? Those who do the least get paid the most. Everyone else works for you. Um, you see any boards here? Any beams? Any rods? Those are cables. So the answer is no. So how do I do a torque? I need a what for a torque? Yeah, well, like what's pivoting here? Wow, oh, so hmm. got a different way to do this problem. Because what do I analyze the torques from here? There's no beams, there's no rods or whatever else. Okay, you probably want to do a different free body diagram and I strongly recommend you do. This thing has weight. And actually, what's the question here? Well, any ideas what the question is? 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 Determine the, yeah, I could have said mass. That would be pretty easy because we know this is on Earth, right? There's only a 9.8 difference between the two. Yeah, sign. I got that. I got that. Obviously, this is a tension, and I'm giving you what that is. And I've got that. <clears throat> And that's a tension, and I know what that is. So free body diagram is basically the same thing, okay? But you just want to make it kind of as simple as possible. Just put in what you need. Mg, that's weight. There's my free body diagram. Now why do we call this equilibrium? Because the sign's in equilibrium, which means what? Translational, rotational, x direction, y direction, it means all the forces balance. Okay? So, no beam, no torques, no distances. Different strategy than what we've been doing. Equilibrium. Let's look at the x direction. Have we done components in this course? You know this trig stuff? Yeah. Uh, let's use black. Okay. So this guy has components. There is a y component and there is an x component. Now, could I have done them here? Sure. Okay, so you want to put them there? Be my guest. There's nothing wrong with that. I just want to visualize this guy also has a Y component and an X component. Is the X and Y component look like they add up to give you those tension resultants? Yeah, okay, and make sure they do. That's why it's important to do a free body diagram. Right? This vector plus that, that vector, this is where this all started, right? Equals that result. This one plus that one equals that result. We're given the result 
you have to break them down into its x and y components. Orthogonal is another word. It makes people happy. Okay, this thing's in equilibrium. I want to do x first. So what do I have in the x directions? I have this one and I have that one. Is there any component of the weight that's in the x direction? No. So the sum of them has to be equal to zero because they are in equilibrium. So you can go this plus this equals nothing, but what makes more sense? That one equals that one, right? It says the same thing. It's just a different way of thinking about it. So what is this as a component? That's 45. What's this angle? Yeah, I want something in the triangle, right? Or, if that's 45 and this is parallel to that, I could also say that that is also 45. So in this case, you can't really make a mistake if you want to do sine or cosine. I think you're going to get the same answer, right? Because sine, cosine, a 45, it's the same thing, isn't it? Do the math 12. What's that exactly? Jake? Cosine 45? 1 over... 1 over root 2. That's good. Thanks, Jake. Okay, so I want this component of 300, which is, I want to use this one, okay? Cosine, that's an adjacent, okay? 300 cos 45, that force is equal to this one because this guy isn't having any balance of forces in the x direction. That's 41. What is this component here that I want to use for the 41? Is that opposite or is that an adjacent? That's adjacent, yeah. So 280 cosine 41. Okay. Well, how does that help me get the weight of the sine? It doesn't. Just saying that one's equal to that one. But in other problems, you're going to want to do that and analyze it. Y direction. This is the one I want. So these are in equilibrium. This one plus that one plus this one equals zero. Or what makes more sense? Up equals down. Okay, the sum of them is equal to zero. Mg is equal to, what's this guy? That's the sine component. It's opposite 45. Okay, so 300 sine 45, and this guy is also helping hold up the sine. It looks bigger in my picture, but that doesn't necessarily mean it is. That's sine 41, opposite. Okay? So weight, or mg, is what's that and that? Add them up. I got 396 newtons. Again, there's options here for your angles and what you're going to use. You just have to make sure it makes sense. Got another one. Anyone check that? Is that right? Do. 40 degrees, 60 degrees, and what province is that traffic light in, Jake? Yeah. Aren't they sideways like that? Yeah. I was told it's because it's so windy, when they put them like that, they actually blow up. So you can't even see it, so they mount them like that. I don't know. So I'm told. It gets kind of windy here, though, doesn't it? Determine tension in both cables 
if traffic light is 20 kilograms. It's a question and a darn good one. Well, hey, you know what? In places of the world, I bet you there are some like that because they got to put one there and that's just how they got to get around it. Okay, first thing you should do, free body diagram. Okay, you can just look at it like that, but just to make it a little nicer and then we can play around with it. That is 20 times 9.8. Now we know what that one is. This tension, I don't know. Let's call it T1. This tension, I don't know. Let's call it T2 and let's actually put it at the same height. Okay, that's 40, that's 60. I want to do what? I have no idea what the heck this thing is, but I can break, let's do it this way. I can break that down into its X and Y, and this guy, I want to do the same. In the x direction, these are in equilibrium. They're balanced. So what do I do here? This is my x. So I got t1, 40 is here too, right? So do I want sine or do I want cosine? Cosine. Right? That's obviously an adjacent, that's not an opposite. So T1 cos 40, okay, that component of that force is equal to this component of that force. That's 60, that's 60, and that's T2 cosine 60. Does that help me? Can I solve for either of those? Two unknowns, one equation, can't do it. What's going on in the y direction? I know this one plus this one equals that. So that equals, this is now, that's T1 there, right? T1, I want this, which is opposite to 40. So that is T1 sine 40. And this guy's gonna be the same. T2 cosine, whoops, sine same, sine 60. Okay, can I figure out the tensions from that equation? I can combine them. Oh boy, what's that called? This is called a system of equations. Two variables, two equations. I can do it. Which one do you want to substitute for? Which one do you want to do first? Be my guess. Actually, you don't even have to substitute, right? You could do other ways, like subtracting them, adding them, whatever, but let's do substitution. So from x, if I solve this thing for t1, then that's what that is, right? It's t2 cos 60 over cos 40. And then I want to take this and stuff it in there so I have one equation, one variable. Just T2. So 20 times 9.8 is, that's T1. T2 cos 60 over cos 40 times sine 40 plus T2 sine 60. Okay, what's my next step? Would you guys put some of this junk in your calculator and make numbers? Yeah, okay, but my first question, 
Would you make numbers out of this stuff? I think you would, so let's do it that way. Yeah, I, and then I want to factor out a t2, right? But, okay, so hang on. Degrees. So 20 times 9.8. Okay, 196 is T2, what's cos 60 times sine 40 divided by cos 40. Point four one nine five. Okay, would you want to make that 10, 40 be my guest? Okay, there's lots of ways you can do this, right? There's T2, what's sine 60? What's that exactly, people? Math 12 kids. Don't ask about yes. Okay, what's root 3 over 2 as a decimal? You got it after yesterday's lesson? Is that like 0.866? Yeah, 0.866. I didn't know the next one. It's a zero. Okay. All right. Now what, Race? Factor out a T2. Or you don't have to, do you? How many T2s do I got? I got 0.4195 T2 and 0.866 T2. How many T2 is that? Okay. Same thing. I got 1.2855. T2 is 196. Divide that away. So I'm going to go 1 over that times 196. And I get 152. Let's call it 153. That's T2. Now, what do you do to find T1? Yeah, you can put it here if you want, but I think that one would be nicest. T1 is 153 cos 60 over cos 40. Times a half divided by whatever cos 40 is. 99, let's call it 100. Okay. Equilibrium. So I'm just giving you select questions. So all of them on the handout you don't have yet, on that one, that's Torx part two. Just one to four, six, and then seven and eight would be good ones to do. Optional. Okay. And that's today's and tomorrow's stuff test Friday. And everybody's going to be here, right? So it's